I guess Ryu's excited to see if I'm ovulating too. All right, Ryu, let's uh, both be a part of this little journey here. It's a little weird, but um, I can get used to this. Hi everyone. So I've been using this app to help me track my ovulation cycle. So the app says that yesterday was a chance to get pregnant and it was our last day of ovulation. So today we wanted to see if she's still ovulating by using this ovulation predictor. This ovulation predictor, we actually got it at our local dollar store and we actually wanted to see if it works. It says ovulation predictor, easy to use, clear results, over 99% accurate. Uh, and it also says results in three minutes. And I actually thought it'd be something fun for us to do. So let's see how this actually works. How does it work? Have you ever used one of these before? No, I actually didn't know this existed. And our store clerk actually asked us, is this what you're looking for? Are you sure? Are you looking for a pregnancy test? Because I guess they've had customers who took this thinking it was a pregnancy test. It looks like a pregnancy it test. It does. It says easy to use, clear results. What are you supposed to do? It says to collect urine sample in a plastic cup and there's a little dropper that we're supposed to use and I guess you're supposed to collect the urine. Can you, well, can yeah, you let's, open it? Let's open this up and see because this seems pretty interesting. And it's kind of small so I don't think there would be a cup in here. I don't know how a cup will fit yeah. in that box. So this, let's see. Okay, so we have a packet. It's a condom packet. That's what it looks like. <laughs> <clears throat> okay. Wait, what is that brand that where it looks like this too in a purple bag? Is it a uh, lifestyle or what is it called? The ones they give out like uh, Planet Parenthood. Planet Parenthood. Oh, Planet Parenthood. <laughs> um, I don't remember. Trojan. No, they give lifestyles. <laughs> oh, I don't know. I never got condoms from a clinic before. Me neither. <laughs> All right. So this looks like an ovulation predictor, right? This yeah, actually looks it, like a pregnancy test. It looks test. just like a pregnancy test. Okay. Well, they actually did have pregnancy tests there too, and it looked exactly like this. So this is kind of interesting. I guess this is the little dropper that we're supposed to use to collect. Wait. Pee. So are you supposed to like pee in the? Are you supposed to pee in the? Sit on the toilet and pee and collect it like that? No. I'm... Yeah. No, that wouldn't work. That's pretty Does weird. Does it say that it needs a cup? Yeah, so it's saying that we're supposed to collect the urine sample in a cup. But there is no cup in this box. Ah! Well, that's so why it's a no dollar. So there's no cup in this box. Exactly. Here, keep this clean. And let's go see if we can find a cup. And let's see if this actually works. Okay, let's go. Wait, wait. Before we do that, <laughs> what is going on with your eyebrows? Okay. That, <laughs> So I was hoping he wasn't going to talk about it, but um, because I just got my eyebrows microbladed. Hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> Let me grab the camera. Okay, hold on. You can get a zoom close up of my eyebrows. You can see all the hair strokes on it. It looks kind of crazy right now. Um, but what did you do to your eyebrows? So anyway, uh, for those of you who don't know what microblading is, it's basically an eyebrow tattoo. So I went with use of sharpies. No, I know it looks like I colored my eyebrows in with sharpies, but it's just because it's scabbing. You know how it is when anything scabs, because it's pretty much an open wound right now. And you know when it scabs, it's dark and it just looks crazy. So that's what's going on with my eyebrows right now. Um, but it's supposed to peel in a week and it's supposed to start looking more natural after that And it'll be 40 to 60 percent lighter than what it is So I am dealing with it so I can have oh, beautiful yeah. brows later on I can on. see a scabbing Yeah, if you look on this side, you could actually see that a scabbing right there I see Alright, well uh, I guess that's pretty interesting It's just uh Weird I wanted my today. brows to look like his because his are so full and nice So I, I mean I just wanted nice brows too all right, so <laughs> let's try and pee in a cup now. Okay. Where are you? He just hit his head. He just hit his head. <laughs> you okay? You want this cup too? 
All right, nice clear cup. Yep, so we can see all of my pee. All right, you ready for this? All right, let's try it. Hey. <laughs> Time to pee in this clear cup. Good luck. Thanks. All right, so Ryu is waiting. Can I pee, Ryu? Move it. All right, Ryu, come here. Have a seat with me. Ryu, sit. So me and Ryu are waiting for our mom to pee. And he's getting very excited. <laughs> oh, he's trying to give her a kiss. Oh, so this is kind of weird. This isn't the first time I've seen her pee. In the bathroom with her. Um, she's next to me and she's gonna pee on the stick. I feel like I wanna be a part of this, so let's see what happens. It's kinda weird. But it's happening. It's happening. As, as you've seen in the other video that we've had. It's weird because it's in a cup, it's not on a stick. This is yeah. Awkward. I'm sure you peed in a cup before. Yeah, but not like this. All right, so. <laughs> Hi, Ryu. Can I <laughs> put on my hat? All right. Whew. He licked my forehead twice when I was trying to pee. Nice, that was some good luck pee. Yeah. All right, can you hold my pee since you want to be involved with me? Ryu, can you hold her pee? That would be a bad idea because I think he'll get it everywhere. All right, he just wants to get out. <laughs> but, uh, that's pretty gross. Ew, it's all warm. <laughs> gross. Don't you see how pee is? Uh, gross, all right. Let's do this thing. All right, so. All right, so it's saying to put this on a level surface. So this looks like a good surface. This is actually where we took our first pregnancy test ever. So I guess we'll keep it a tradition and do all of our tests here. It says to get three drops of my pee, three drops of urine, and that's a lot of pee for just three drops. So it's saying to put it in this little hole um, with the arrow right there so we're gonna put one two three okay hopefully that's enough because it seems like very little all right and it's just to wait three minutes I'm gonna put my timer on and it says that to make sure you check it within three minutes because anytime after that the results won't be accurate anymore all right well while we wait three minutes can let's show them this macro thing that we have uh, move my lactate box. Yes, I take lactate for every single dairy product that I eat, which is the best thing ever because I'm lactose. But it's not um, the bottle though. It's not so, the right oh, that's not the right bottle. I see. So, okay, this is some mac root that's inside a uh, what is this? A vitamin bottle for your eyes? Yeah. All right. So in this vitamin <laughs> bottle for your well, eyes, I have the original there's uh, right. some mac roots. And macro root, and mac, what macro root is actually, uh, she she got this from her brother. This is for menopause, and I don't know why in the world she, her brother would give this to her and give this to me to take because that sounds kind of weird for a man to take. But I actually googled it, and uh, what it says is that it gives you a lot of energy and is good for uh, for your sex drive. Uh, which is supposed to help you have a baby. So I guess mac roots are good for the men, but it's not something that we'll always take unless you want some natural Vicodin. No, what is it called? <laughs> Viagra. Viagra. <laughs> so yeah. Yeah. But all right, so we got a minute and a half to go. Or less than, we got about a minute now. Yeah, one more minute. Oh, look. So, hey, that's interesting. So right now it's been two minutes. We still have one minute to go. And it shows that there's two lines right now. 
So two lines means that she is still ovulating. What's weird is that this thing is showing that you're still ovulating, but your app on your phone says you're not ovulating Yeah, anymore. so my app is actually saying that it's the least uh, chance of getting pregnant today. And that's kind of weird because we've been trying to follow this app. Unfortunately, you know, it wasn't a successful one this time. But um, we wanted to test other resources to see if, you know, it's accurate or if it isn't. And this $1 ovulation predictor is saying that I am actually ovulating still. Dude, look how clear it is. And it's been three minutes and it's pretty clear. Um, okay. So. Oh, it's been past three minutes, yeah. That's crazy that the app keeps track of your period and uh, it's saying that you're done ovulating but this is saying that you are ovulating yeah. and how does it know? Like what is it testing? So what it says is that it can predict when you're ovulating by a hormone surge, a luteinizing hormone surge and that's when you're likely to ovulate. So I guess it's saying that your hormones are pretty high right now. Yeah, so it, and... it can, it's finding that okay. hormone. Well, I guess it's back to work because uh, we just had three days of trying uh, with this ovulation window and now it's saying that she's still at high hormone levels and we should keep trying so and actually I'm starting to wonder because the first time that I got pregnant we actually used a different app uh-huh so I'm using a totally different app this time so now I'm starting to wonder if why'd you, all apps are different why did you choose to use a different app? Uh, well because it had more information and it, it was uh, able to track a lot more but maybe it might be off I don't know so maybe I might try to download the same app that we used last time and see what it says okay well we still have a chance to try it's still at a we still have a high chance to have a baby right now yeah. we'll see what happens oh. One of the funny things is that while we were waiting the whole time, it actually felt like we we're taking a pregnancy test. It's kind of weird. It's a bittersweet feeling, but I mean... Yeah, she's pregnant! Woo! She's pregnant! No, it's just ovulation time. Yeah. She's not. We're not there so. yet, so... Alright. Um, let's just throw this away. You don't want to keep it? No. So, hopefully, the next time, uh, we'll find out that you're pregnant. Yeah. Cool. Is my forehead red? <laughs> oh, so her forehead has a dot right there and it's red here and a little bit red there. And uh, what happened? Ryu you licked you right yeah. there? Yeah. It's really itchy right now so I can, I can tell that it's red and it's getting bumpy because I'm allergic to Ryu. I'm allergic to his saliva so every time he licks me or gets near me it makes me super itchy bumpy and red so what a trooper she's allergic to dogs but because we both love dogs she's willing to keep one so Ryu what are you doing Ryu what is he doing what are you doing my oh, baby my oh, baby hey precious I love you I love you oh <laughs>